I've not entered the wilderness on any account in years, so I gave myself a challenge. I wanted to see how much money I can make in 24 hours or one day from scratch only using the wilderness. This means killing NPCs, PKing, killing bots, whatever I can find. This is Steelboy69 and all we have is a looting bag. Let's begin this journey. There are quite a few options for beginner money but I'm going to pick up some Staff of Earth, pretty much two inventories and I think these are like 1000 each so that should give me a decent amount of starting GP. Full inventory and a full loot bag and that is a bit over 50,000 GP. Alright, so my plan is to buy a very basic dehyde setup and go to refs. I've always been curious about the ref caves. I've seen a lot, I've heard a lot about it, so um, it's time to, to check it out. Kill my first refs. I started with some pyre fiends and pretty much instantly I got two dragon longswords, which pretty much doubles my bank. Beautiful. Already liking this place. Plan is to kind of build up my gear, get some, get some drops so I can buy some better uh, bolts. And then move on to the better revenants. But uh, yeah, I don't have a bracelet as well. Trying to get the first few hundred K. So while killing Pyrefiends, I noticed this bot showing up, farming the Pyrefiends. And I tried to kill him, but he pretty much instantly teleports. So I didn't really have a way to kill him. But this guy will play a role a little later into this. Nice, there we go. Got my first bracelet. So we can now kill the better monsters. I believe I take 70% less damage from the Revenant having the bracelet on, so beautiful. Sold my loot from the first trip and we made over 200,000 GP, which is nice because we can now buy the better bolts. And I think these Dragonstone bolts are going to be very powerful on the Revenants. Alright, I'm ready to go back. I have a much better setup. I'm really excited to test out these bolts. So with the new setup, I switched to the Dark Beasts. There aren't too many people here and these drops are very, very nice. From what I can tell, a lot of rune drops and I think they also have some dragon drops. Another trip done and we made 400k. So I'm going to buy the amulet for auto skull and I think the drops will also be noted. So, And I will be skulled but I can just item protect so if I die I don't actually lose the amulet. Ooh, first dragon drop. That looks beautiful. Dragon plate legs. Another trip done for another 400k. Alright, so the next thing I want to try and do is while killing the dark beast, I want to see if I can kill that bot that I saw earlier. I'm going to bring a budget mate setup and try and TB him. I'm really curious how much that guy risks. I'm pretty excited to try this out. But before we continue this journey, a word from today's sponsor. I was introduced to a really cool game recently that has a version on both the phone and PC. It is called Hero Wars. Hero Wars is an online role playing action game with a huge variety of PvP and PvE game modes. If you want to play through some PvE content, which is my favorite, the campaign features an interesting storyline with powerful boss fights you can engage in. While completing missions, you can collect loot to upgrade your team. Hero Wars has a big social media following of over 4 million players to help you learn and master the 50 plus heroes for any of the modes. Combine and assemble your own different teams of heroes to beat and explore the 130 different missions that this game offers. You can also experience some action when you go online. You can create guilds, fight other players in arena and grand arena and constantly raise your rank. So join the game now and get a super chest with a secret hero as well as 600 emeralds and 30,000 gold. Scan the QR code or download the game from the link below the video. See you in the game. Alright, there he is, there he is. Let's, let's TB him. Yes, okay. Land at the TB. Alright, he can't go anywhere. First bot down. Beautiful. I uh, I really want to see what this guy has. Right. First loot key on this account. Wow. 183k. That is actually really good. Because it's literally free to kill that guy. If I land the TB. Okay. That makes things interesting. Alright, we killed him again. I think this bot just returns to the Pyrefiends after he dies. He re-gears and then it takes a few minutes for him to walk back, I guess. Well, that's pretty good for me because I can just keep killing him for money. And that's another 156k. Not bad. No way, he's already back. Right, so my plan is to just switch between a Dark Beast and this guy when he returns.
<laughs> there we go, he's TP'd again. Easy. There we go, managed to sneak in another TP. I already got one key from him, so... Killed him twice in one trip. Yeah, I think this guy is just programmed to walk back and kill the things again, so... I'm probably really messing with this bot farm. But it's making me more money than killing revenants right now. Because I can kind of switch between the revenants and killing this guy. So probably going to continue doing this for a bit. Sold most of my stuff in a bank. And we have around 1 or 2 mil right now. So going pretty well. Who's this? Uh, I don't really feel like teleporting. I'm going to try and fight him. Okay, he has an AGS. Ooh, big bolt, big bolt right there. Yo, no way, he's dead. I got my first kill. Uh, I don't know what this guy was doing, but... Yo, we got the first kill in the wilderness. Let's see how much that guy was uh, risking. 386k from that guy. That's pretty much two bots. And then we have the other two keys from the bots as well. Yo, that's a decent bit of money right there. So the next thing I wanted to try out is kill some gold farmers and see if I could make more money. And I do have a very budget setup, so it's actually pretty hard to kill these guys. But I did manage to get some kills. We got one 483k key, so pretty decent. Decided to upgrade my gear a little bit so I could land the entangles more often. Managed to get a massive DDS pack for another kill, pretty lucky. For another 480k. And we managed to get one more kill. I also upgraded to the dragon crossbow so we can use the better bolts. And Eludis, almost 550k, not bad. And then this scary mage guy got on me, so tried to escape, got the entangle, and I logged out. And after that, I decided to go back to killing refs. Overall, I made a decent bit of money from the gold farmers, but it's very hard to kill them. And overall, less worth it than killing the bot and the revenants. Right, quick update on the GP. We are nearly 4 million. I'm back at killing refs and the bot. And yeah, it's actually making me pretty good money. So going to continue doing this and try and upgrade some uh, gear pieces. Or maybe get a weapon or something. I guess a godsword would be pretty good for uh, PKing. Oh, magic seeds. That is a pretty rare drop, I believe. Five magic seeds, though. That's worth a lot. So yeah, the magic seeds are 645k. That's definitely my best drop so far at Revenants. We've gathered enough GP to buy a God Sword. So I'm going to buy a Zemra God Sword. And if people attack me, I can actually fight back. Because I have a little bit of KO potential with the God Sword. And in the meantime, I'm going to continue making money. I really want to upgrade to an AGS. That's my uh, current goal right now. This is a wilderness challenge and uh, I guess I'm spending a lot of time in the revenant case. But it's just too good early on. Like I'm making a lot of money. This is working out. So there's a lot going on in that cave I have to say. Alright so this is my new setup. If I'm item protecting I'm only risking 300k. And I have a dragon crossbow and a Zemri godsword. So that's a pretty decent setup. No way. I think that would have been a kill. I got attacked by someone and uh, I actually managed to win that fight. So that would have been for like a ballista and stuff, I guess. More revenant loot. All right. I still have my, I still have my ref set up and I have nearly 8 million GP and a little bit of random stuff in the bank. I clean my bank again. Um, I think I'm going to do a bit more, a few more ref trips, make a few more mills so I can buy an AGS. And try and do some anti-PKing. Um, a couple of times I could have easily killed someone if I had an AGS. So yeah, going to focus a little bit more on the money. And then we uh, go back to trying to kill some people. What the hell was that? Okay, that, that must be worth something. 8 million? <laughs> no way! No way, I just got an 8 million statue. What the hell? No way, that's 8 mil. How rare is that? That's one in 4.8k. Ooh, very nice. Yo, let's sell that bad boy. I can afford an AGS. That is 
Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> we are like nine or ten hours in and we are able to buy an AGS. That is amazing. Let's uh, let's do it. There we go. We sold the statue for almost eight mil. And there we go. The Armadale Godsword is mine. I finally have a good KO weapon. So I actually want to do some PKing now and see uh, how much money I can make with that. All right, I'm out of the ref caves. I'm going to try and PK a little bit at the wilderness bosses. It's most likely going to be PVMers, so they probably will not be happy. But I'm really curious how much money I can make in those places. How much do people risk at wilderness bosses and is it worth my time? And maybe we can also find some other people PKing there. But let's check it out. I switched to the ancient setup. Oh, found the first guy. Let's go for the AGS. And we got the first kill at Scorpia. He only risked 127k. Got another kill. <laughs> he is not happy. Ooh. Okay. 625k. That's a little bit more. Got an occult necklace. That's a pretty, pretty good loot actually. Yo, someone is at Chaos Elemental. I forgot it shows the message, so I can also check Chaos Elemental, I guess. Right, found the guy. And we killed him. Nah, he only had 150k, but that's not bad. Not bad. Oh, there's another, there's another guy PKing here. I'm gonna go to singles and try and fight him. All right, let's go for the AGS. No way, I could have killed him there. This guy is kind of panicking, I think, so. All right, go for the AGS. Damn. Okay, not bad. This guy is barely doing anything. Oh, he is running. Let's go. I got my first actual like hybrid kill, I guess. That was so much fun, actually. Let's check out the key. Okay, he was risking 500k. Not too bad. I'll take it. Managed to get another kill. That's not too great. Sold off most of the loot from the Scorpia stuff and we made a bit over a mil. Not bad. The next place I decided to check was Callisto and I didn't really find too many people here but I did manage to find two people and they were both risking less than 100k so not really worth it. I decided to go back to Scorpia a little bit. I wanted to get a few more kills to see how much I could make and since I found the other guy PKing there before I was also kind of hoping that I would find another person PKing there so I could get an actual fight as well. Alright, I managed to find another fight. I don't think this guy has Ancient, so let's see how this goes. Yo, big AGS pack for the KO. He said RNG, welcome to RuneScape my friend. Alright, killed another PK. Let's see what's in those two keys. Ooh, okay, not bad. 286k from that guy and then 415k from the PK. -er. Nice. Another 263k key, not bad. I think I have a... Good enough sample size. Uh, it's actually not bad to PK there, but takes quite a bit of time to find people. I'm going to clean my bank again, sell most of the loot I PK'd. 
and probably go back to the rough caves. All right, we are 15 hours in and we have 18 point, almost 4 mil. So the other wilderness spots weren't the best, but it was a lot of fun and we did still PK a few mil, so that's pretty good. All right, so the next plan is go back to refs. This time I'm going to skull everywhere. I have the AGS for KO potential and I got Venge with me as well, so... Going to kill some refs to make money, but I'm also actively looking for fights this time. Because I think if I can actively find fights and I can kill some people, I can probably make more money. So, going to try and focus on that. Holy shit, yes, we got it with the swing. 52 Godsword swing. All right, this must be a pretty good key, I think. Ooh, okay. First 1 million key on the account. That is great. Beautiful. We specced at the same time, but the AGS pulled through. Yo, what the hell? We had a B ring. Two and a half mil key. We're making bank peaking in a ref case right now. That is the highest key so far. Oh, we have another battle. I'm getting attacked by this guy. I'm not sure why he didn't teleport. That was a pretty free kill. This guy had no chance. That's a pretty bad key. This is a pretty crazy clip right here. I got attacked by this guy and at first I was kind of scared. So I started running. Kind of acted a bit, a little bit noobie. And then I decided to give it a shot and fight back. And yeah, that could have easily killed him. And I think that guy was risking well over 10 or 20 mil, so that would have been insane. And then after that, I think he was kind of in a tight spot. I kept hitting quite well on him. And my guess is that he's only using Bruce, so he was kind of panic eating Bruce. And uh, yeah, he dipped, so did not end up killing him, unfortunately. But that was pretty interesting. Right here, we found an AFK. -er. I usually just kind of clean the spot. So I can kill both the orcs. That's, I guess, one of the perks of being scold. And this guy was just sitting there AFKing. So don't AFK in the wild. I was really surprised about that key over 1.3 million. He had a ballista. So my guess is that he was probably also trying to anti PK. But yeah, he was not there when I tried to kill him. So free 1.3 mil. I was trying to fight the Revenant boss and I came across this guy. He started attacking me. And he was using mage as well, so I think he had a pretty good amount of risk. Had a pretty good chance of killing him there, but no luck. And he decided to teleport after, which is understandable. I kind of want to see where I'm at, so I'm going to sell all the loot that we PK'd. Probably going to leave the low value items in the bank for now. And yeah, let's see how much we made from that session. Alright, I sold most of the stuff and we ended up with a bit over 5 million GP, so pretty good. We are 19 hours in and we have almost 23 million GP. Managed to get another key. Alright, let this key be good. Okay, 613k. I think most of the value from these guys is from the other and then there's always the GP and stuff. So I teleported to the ref cave and there was this guy waiting in PK gear. And I was kind of hesitating if I should fight him. And I did end up fighting him. I didn't really manage to combo him. But then he starts running and I'm like, I might as well try and uh, bolt him. And he switches to melee protect and I get this huge dragonstone bolt spec. So the bolts are finally coming in. A nice 57 for the KO. I was not expecting that. That was really lucky. And that ended up being a 1.6 million key. So that was beautiful. So while I'm in a bank, the same guy that I just killed asked for a rematch. And I thought, you know, let's have some fun. Why not? 
So he geared up in some pretty risky stuff. He had like a dragon fire shield, dragon crossbow, and a spec weapon. And I decided to do some fights with him because I had a feeling that this guy thought I was like a ref killer, like a really big noob. Maybe even a gold farmer, who knows. So yeah, he geared up in some stuff and we managed to do another fight. And I got bopped on the head by him. So good fight to that guy. So after he killed me, he probably thought I was an even bigger noob. So he asked for another fight. And he asked me to go to actual because it's more safe because people were reading our conversations. So I decided to fight him in Edgeville. And I know this guy is still risking a lot because he has the same setup. And then this happens. Yes, 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 I got him. He, he uh, killed himself with Avenge. I decided to take the risk because I saw he was going to spec me. So, oh my god, yo, I cannot wait to check this key. Yo, what the hell? Five point. Look at this freaking key, man. No way. Look at this key. 5.5 mil almost. That is insane. <laughs> no way. Look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. Oh, he's fuming. 68 AGS pack. Almi Veng 4. Like, what? Is he talking Spanish to me? Oh my god. That's so funny. That is the biggest PK by far. That was great. He really wanted to fight me again after that and we had a couple close calls but no real action and after like half an hour he had to go to work and uh, that really brought me back to the old Edgeville PKing days. Pretty nice guy though. Alright I just finished the fight with that guy and I think it's a good time to clean my bank again and see how much money we made. I sold all of the valuable items in the bank and we made over 7 million GP this time. But that's mostly because of that big PK we got on that guy earlier. And we have 16 million GP in the bank right now. Nice. Alright, back to the rough caves, I guess. Oh, I think he wants to fight me. There we go. Who's this? Alright, we got a fight. And he's dead. Nice, we got him with the AGS spec. We got the amulet, which is worth quite a bit of money, so pretty nice key. Why is he fighting me? <laughs> Damn, he's kind of good with Prey Flake, I'm not gonna lie. He's probably gonna try an anti or something. Dead. Ooh. I got pretty lucky there. Eh, it's not too bad. <laughs> oh. Oh no, I didn't I didn't eat. That's okay. I didn't eat. Good fight to that guy. <gasps> what? No way. What? Oh my god, he died! He died! Yeah, well, he, he hopped the thing. Yo, that guy was risking 860k. That's actually a pretty fat key. Alright, I'll take that. That's really good. Watch this, watch this. I'm gonna try something. <laughs> he was way too low hit points not to try that. Pretty decent key, actually. Yo, we're getting a lot of kills right now. Okay. Yep. Oh! That could have been that could have been a kill. Pfft, again. Could have been it. It could have been it, I think. Alright, I'm gonna run watch. I'm dipping. Oh, that was so close, dude. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Who, who's attacking me? Who's this? Who's this?
that. Oh, let's go. That was beautiful. Beauty. Yeah, 440. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. He's dead. He's dead. I don't think this guy is a lot though. Yeah. I'm waiting for it. Here we go, here we go. No! Oh, he almost he almost KO'd himself with the Venge. Again, could have killed him. Yep. Risk it? No way. Dude, how is he not dead? Dead! Yes! Yes, 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 got him, got him. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. 1.3 mil. All right, that was the last kill I can get. The 24 hours are almost up, so I'm just going to the G and sell all the loot that we've collected in this session and see how much more we made. I've absolutely cleaned my bank again, as you can see. And let's go for the price check. We have made almost 35 mil in 24 hours from scratch, only using the wilderness. We did die like three times in the 24 hours, but I didn't lose too much overall. I think I lost around a mil. I'm really happy with the end result. That's almost 1.5 mil per hour. And I haven't had this much fun in RuneScape in a while. Hopefully I inspired some of you to try this out yourself. And this video was something new for me. So my question to you is, would you like to see more content like this in the future? You can always give me ideas down below.